Yo, yo, yo. What's up, guys? It's your boy Ty Skits here, and today we are back with another Car X drift racing online video. In today's Car X drift racing online video, I'm going to be showing you guys my 2JZ swap Wellington S20. All right, so this is going to be for the new update, the 2.15 update that hasn't came off for console yet, unfortunately. But before we get into this video, I just wanted to ask one question for anybody that could possibly answer it. So there are, I believe, five different engines in the game. Now, anyone that can tell me the name of every single engine in the game will be getting a shout out in my next video. Let me find a car that has all five engine options. There's a certain car, I think it's the R34, where you can see all of the engines. So if somebody, oh yeah, okay, so if somebody can tell me the IRL name of all of the engines. I know, like, the 2J, I'm not sure if that's a 2J, a 4G6, I don't know. If anyone can tell me the name of every single engine in the game, I will literally give you a shout out. So please let me know in the comment section, what is the name of every single engine here? I want to know. But with that being said, we're going to be tuning up, well, not tuning up, but I'm going to be showing you guys my Wellington S20 2JZ Ultimate Drift setup. So basically, with the stock engine, we only make 800 horsepower. What I've done is I threw the 2J in there and I basically gave it a thousand horsepower. So we just upped the power a little bit. What I learned with the engine swaps is you don't want to give it max power depending on the car because the power to weight ratio will be off and then it'll be really hard to tune the car because you're getting a lot of wheel spin but i perfected this car pretty well so let me know what you guys think about it once you drift it and stuff like that but yeah so if you guys don't know where the wellington is it is a class 3 car right here next to the falcon fc 90-s and the kaju or the kaiju not sure how to pronounce that car name but yeah that's where you find the car what you want to do is go ahead and get the ultimate mod on the car and then of course put the three point leader 2JZ engine in the car if you don't already have this engine make sure you go unlock it it's really really easy just go ahead and unlock the engine put it in the car the next thing you want to do is go ahead and grab a body kit i have the missile kit on here it looks really really clean so let me know what you guys think about that also but i have the missile v1 headlights the missile front bumper the stock empty hood so that you guys can see the engine swaps i'm gonna make this popular for like engine swaps i feel like we should be running like no hood just so like you know that's like that look to the car i like it and then for the fenders we have the missile fenders the cbw roof the cbw side mirror we have the custom performance roll cage the missile side skirts the stock trunk the d master rear bumper the rnc spoiler the pro flow tail lights the street exhaust the cicada seats in there we got the R Corp steering wheel, the Recar X handbrake, and the R Corp shifter. Now, if you guys want to run the same wheels I'm running, I have this wheel right here on the front. And then for the back wheel, uh, for the back wheel, what wheel do I have on there? Forgot. For the back wheel, I believe I have this wheel right here. So if you guys want to run those wheels, feel free to do so. But you guys have seen the body kit, the location of the car, and what mod and engine to run in the car. Now we're going to go ahead and show you guys the dyno stand, which will include the suspension, wheels, engine, and transmission, and also the brakes. So, for the suspension, your front spring length is gonna be 18, rear is gonna be 17, your front spring stiffness is gonna be 110, rear 85, your first three front dampers are going to be at 5500 your first three rear dampers are going to be at 4500 now if you guys are wondering why this tune is a little bit similar to the last one i put out it is all i did was swap it and basically um i basically like upgraded it so that the new engine that i put in it would still be compatible with the car because if you just throw an engine in the car and you try to like drift it the, the the gear ratios and everything will be off so i made like a few adjustments not too many but a few adjustments just so i could convert it to run <clears throat> this engine so like i said your first three front damper is going to be 5500 your first three rear damper is going to be at 4500 Your fourth front damper is going to be at 5,500 also, and then same thing with the rear damper, it's going to be 4,500. Front toe, negative 0 0.40, rear toe, 0 0.35, front camera, negative 6, 0 0.2, rear camera is going to be 0 0.49, 
Spartan Rancy Rollbar are going to be at 20, cast draw at 5.5, Ackerman angle at 25%, steering axis offset is going to be at 0 0.02, kingpin angle inclination is going to be at 15 degrees, and then your max steering angle is going to be at 65 degrees. Once you have all that set up, go ahead and head over to the wheels. For the wheels, your front and rear rim diameter are going to be 19. Front and rear tire width 285. Front tire pressure 90. Rear tire pressure 77. Front and rear wood adhesion are going to be at 100. Front and track 4. Rear base 0. Front and rear tire profile 35%. <clears throat> now for the next part, pay very close attention because I'm not maxing out engines for engine swaps anymore. Or at all, actually. So... Depending on the car, I might max out an engine or get close to maxing out an engine for engine swap, but it just depends on the car, you know, like the weight and things like that. So external wastegate is going to be on, engine tune up at 14%, max torque at 5,500 RPMs, your rev limiter is going to be at 8,500 RPMs, turbocharger, yes, turbocharger air pressure at 1.4 atmospheric pressure units, all right, <clears throat> or PSI, whatever you want to call it. For the transmission, it's going to be a uh, sequential type transmission your differential type is going to be a viscose limited slip differential your diff lock ratio is going to be at 100 final drive 3.55 your 1 3.05 your 2 1.30 your 3 1.15 your 4 1.07 your 5 0 0.99 and then your 6 is going to be at 0 0.95 all right for the brakes, your brake torque is going to be at 3,500. Firmic bias 70%. ABS no. Launch control tandems no. All right, so now that you guys have the whole tune, what I'm going to go ahead and do now is head into an online multiplayer session. See if I can get some clean tandems in. The last time I tried to do this, I got into the lobby and it was a complete mess. So I'm hoping that we actually get into a decent lobby so we can, you know, get some good gameplay out. But uh, yeah, let's get into it. Here we go. We are on Red Rock. I'm just gonna go ahead and do a couple of graphic setting adjustments really quick before we start the drifting, and then we'll be ready to go. Let's go ahead and change that up a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and make the color temperature a little bit warmer, change the sun a little bit, make the clouds move, and we are good to go. All right, so 2JZ Wellington S20 Ultimate Drift Setup is absolutely a fucking beast like look at this shit oh my god so like my my wellington s20 build is already good this just this just set, it sets the bar even higher this is probably going to be like one of the best if not the best wellington s20 build in car x for a while i'm not trying to say that in an egotistical or cocky way i'm just saying the car only had 800 horsepower and we literally just added 200 more or about 200 more horsepower onto the car so it's going to add a big performance upgrade on to what we already had. All right, so we're pulling up. We're here. It looks like we got some decent people in this session. Is that a SOD member? So we got a SOD member. Uh, we got a TRK member in here. Got a couple homies in here, man. Y'all trying to get active or what, man? We drifting? What's up? We drifting? Come on. All right, so let's test it out on tandems. So far, so good. The transition's really, really smooth. I can definitely keep up with this Mustang having a thousand horsepower. <laughs> oh, power band's really good. Even after losing a little bit of speed there, it builds it up really, really quick. Oh yeah, this car is perfect for tandems and TRK Shaputa, I don't know if you're going to see this video, but I just want to give your car a 10 out of 10 and you're drifting a 10 out of 10. You're probably one of the best leads for a tandem I've had in one of my gaming videos in a while, so thank you for that, bro. I appreciate that. Just had to throw a quick little, you know what I'm saying, a little 360 right there. Something light. Yeah, bro, this Wellington is fire. Yeah, this is. Sheesh. Yeah, bro, new Wellington build is absolutely goaded. You guys gotta try this out. 
content players, I'm sorry you guys don't have the new update yet, but when you guys get the new update, this should be one of the builds you try, like, immediately. You guys are gonna love this build, man, I know you guys are. Even the PC players, you guys are gonna love it too, but, you know what I'm saying, like, console players, y'all are missing out right now, unfortunately. Kinda sucks that they haven't dropped the update yet, but hopefully, you know, that shit comes out soon, because I know y'all been waiting for, like, a long, long time, man. It's been, like, almost, what, two weeks now? Almost a month, about? <laughs> Carx, please drop that update for console players. They've been waiting. But chat, or not chat, but hey guys, I feel like the update for console will come out this week. If it doesn't come out this week, I'll be really, really surprised. So let's keep our hopes and prayers up, and let's just hope that that shit comes out at least sometime this week. I think it'll maybe come out tomorrow, Tuesday, Wednesday at the latest. I think it'll come out Friday, but we'll see what happens, man. We'll see what happens, but. With that being said, that's going to wrap up this video. I just wanted to bring you guys my Wellington S20 2JZ Ultimate Drift setup. And, you know, give y'all something new to drift with. Oh, my God. Oh, we landed it. We landed it. All right, we're good. We're good. But, yeah, man, this has been your boy Tyson Kids playing Car for Racing Online. Today, I showed you guys my 2JZ engine swap Nissan Silvia S13. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe. Turn on post notifications and share this video. And with that being said, man... I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.